Are you wondering when the right moment is to change accountants? If so, then you will get the answer in this video. Hi, my name is Mel here from Contest Tax Consulting, and I hear this question quite often. When would be the right time to change accountants? To answer this question, we need to look a little more closely at what a typical accountant actually does. In other words, what is your accountant or your possible future accountant doing right now for you or what should he be doing for you? We differentiate between three main tasks that your tax advisor does for you. The first is advice. The second is your ongoing accounting, which is done monthly or quarterly. And the third one is the tax returns or the annual financial statements. In order to find the right moment to change your accountant, we have to look at when these three tasks are actually being completed. What is important to know is that you don't have to give all three jobs to one consultant. You can also employ several accountants or do things yourself. You could do your own accounting and have an accountant for the tax return and have another accountant to advise you. It's not always efficient and therefore doesn't always make sense, but it would be possible in principle. Let's take a look at the different areas of responsibility. The advice level is relatively simple. If you have a question, you can always just go to a tax advisor and get advice. This can be simple questions such as, how do I write my invoice to Austria? but can also deal with more complex topics such as buying a house, an inheritance case, etc. Where of course tax law somehow plays a role. It therefore makes perfect sense to perhaps go to a specialist. If you want to buy a house, for example, there are tax consultants who specialize in exactly that. And it would also make sense to get advice from them and maybe not from the accountant who does your ongoing bookkeeping and is good at that but may not be familiar with real estate law. Changing a tax consultant for consulting cases is super easy. You can actually go to a new tax advisor with every new question. You can change at any time and simply ask another advisor the next question you may have. The second major group of tasks is ongoing bookkeeping. For example, the Umsatzsteuer tax return or the summary reports are related to ongoing bookkeeping. A tax consultant can of course do this for you and you can also change tax consultants. You can also do this during the year, but it is important for the change that you know what your pre-registration period is. You can do your accounting either monthly, quarterly, or annually. That depends on when you have to submit your advanced UST return. I have already recorded an in-depth video on this, which you can find linked here at the top right corner. If you don't know the exact deadline, watch this video first. But if you now know, for example, that you do your bookkeeping on a quarterly basis, you may change your accountant for ongoing accounting every quarter. Your previous accountant would, for example, be doing your bookkeeping until the end of the third quarter on, say, the 30th of September, and then from October 1st onwards, so the fourth quarter, the new tax consultant would take over. If you have a monthly advanced UST return period, you can, of course, change it monthly. It is important here that you do not have to make the change directly on the 1st of October, but can prepare it at any time. You just have to agree with both the old and the new accountant when exactly the transition is to take place. But once that has been clarified, you can change your tax advisor at any time during the year. The third large group of tasks that tax consultants can take on for you are all the tax returns and the annual financial statements. So annual financial statements, income surplus calculation, all business tax returns, i.e. in particular Umsatzsteuer and Gewerbesteuer return and income tax return. These tasks are done once a year. You can change your tax advisor at any time. What is really important here, however, is that it has to be very clear which tax consultant is responsible for what. It is not possible to do a tax return for just six months, for example. You can't hire an accountant now from August to December to complete the tax return for this part only. What usually doesn't work either is that one tax consultant starts with the whole process and then another tax consultant somehow continues with a half-finished tax return. Your new tax advisor will have to do all the work again if he receives a half-finished tax return because every tax consultant has a different structure or system in processing your data. If you want to change your tax advisor, you should know exactly what the last completely finished tax return was that you sent to the tax office. And with the next tax return, which is also still available, if you will, which can also be for the last year, you can commission your new tax advisor. It's now 2021. If your current tax advisor has taken care of your tax return 2019, but not yet 2020, then you can still go to a new accountant in the middle or end of 2021 and commission him or her with your tax return of 2020. This absolutely works. 
The only important thing here is that there are no open works. Where some tax consultants refuse or make it unnecessarily complicated is when one tax consultant has done the ongoing accounting and another tax advisor is supposed to do the tax return. That is possible. However, not all accountants like doing this because they don't want to lose you as a client. And it sort of makes sense that they would make leaving complicated, but it is perfectly possible for one tax consultant to do the accounting and another then to do the tax return based on this. So don't let them tell you otherwise. You can also change your tax advisor for the tax return every year as long as the tax return is not yet ready. I hope this short video could help you. At the end of this video, I would like to draw your attention to our giveaway again. Once a week, we give away one of these surprise packages among all commentators. Just comment on this or any other of our videos with the hashtag Steuerfrage and then you have the chance to win one of these packages. Also, I would be very happy if you subscribe to the channel, which you can do here, or if you watch one of our other videos, such as this one or this one.